Hey, it's Zisto. Playing some Factorio today. Here's a progress report. Worm, fish, explosion, crash, burner base, starter base, power, mega base, outpost, 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 rockets, space, space base place to make more space base, checklist, space rail, platform to tinker with builds, and the first completed build, thermo fluid. So, now that we're all caught up, let's head back over to the checklist. So here's our checklist to finish space exploration. We went over this in detail last episode. The goal is to do the research to unlock all the things. These are all the science packs we need to finish space exploration. We've already done these on the right, the vanillas and the space science pack. We need to build all of these ones on the left, all the specialty space versions. And to get all these different science packs, we need to do all these recipes here. And to do all these recipes here, we need to do all these intermediate recipes here. We broke that down. What we need to deliver via rocket or via train. In last episode, we finished the thermo fluid and the different temperatures thereof. And I think actually what we can do, we can set up some constant combinators. And I believe there is actually a check signal. We can turn this checklist into a literal checklist. So we've made all of those guys. We've also, in addition, got our ground-based mega base on Nalvis, the home planet in which we are currently in orbit. We've got all this stuff getting made with the exception of the Vita Melange, which we have yet to go and achieve. And also, not this one, this is the end game material, the Nakuum plate, which we will get at the end. So, checks all around, all the ground-based stuff that we're delivering. It's currently being made and it's ready to get delivered, except for those two. We're also making all these vanilla packs, and we do need to rebuild the space science pack. So we'll have to add a check mark once that's up and running once again. So the goal for today is to take on and completely finish all tiers of material science pack. That's right, all of this. We're going to do all of it today. But to do that, we've got to do all of the different intermediate products. So I revised our checklist into a more coherent, easier to look at checklist and got rid of all the, the recipe stuff and the flowcharty kind of things. We just have the things we need and the checks that are going to show that we finished the thing. It's a checklist. It's really just a checklist now. So we need to do all this intermediate stuff that currently doesn't have a checklist. And to do that, I've already done all the hard work I intend to do, which involves putting down some of those big pylon power poles and some roboports so that we can get the robots to do all the hard work. Okay, robots, time for you to get to work while I sit back and watch. Oh, I guess you need some kind of instruction, don't you? Okay, uh, how about you start by adding some space rails? All right, next, let's try adding some space platform. What the heck? Man, I knew I couldn't trust the robots to do this. Robots, you left a bunch of weird gaps and holes and made a bunch of weird shapes. None of this makes any sense. Well, anyway, let's just go with it for now. Robots, put down some machines and conveyor belts and crap like that. Oh, uh, okay, I guess that makes a little bit more sense now. Seems like everything is pretty much ready to go, except, uh, what else? What else is missing? Oh yeah, the landing pads. We gotta send some rockets up here and there's some big square blank spaces. Gotta be for launch pads. Okay, robots, you know what to do. So it looks like we've got a delivery of rocket fuel. That seems like a good idea. Get all the fuel to all the trains so they can zip around and deliver all the things. Down here, we should be making some blank data cards. We need a supply of rough data storage substrate, and that's gonna get polished here with the blue soda stuff. Then we add some copper plate and some red circuits, and out pops a whole bunch of blank data cards. Later on, we'll be recycling a lot of these, but to get started, we've got to make them all from scratch. Right here, we're making some machine learning data, and we only need one machine for this, because it's only used for the basic space science, and also to make some faster modules. And it looks like the fuel is backing up, so let's send these trains on their way to go pick up some thermo fluid. There you go, and there you go. Okay, off you go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. And the other one is on his way as well. All right, pretty good. So anyway, we are definitely making some blank data cards here, and I'm pretty sure that's a check mark. 
Meanwhile, we've gotten so many rocket part deliveries that our train recycling capsules and rocket parts has filled up. Let's activate it so we can go recycle those. It's gonna head up to the Nexus and add them to the existing recycling belt which we set up previously. Okay, moving right along. Down here, we are making some blue soda, aka the cosmic water. Lots of water, lots of lubricant, whole lot of water getting cycled through there. It's going into a series of tanks here with a condition set onto the pump because just like any other thing we want to recycle that is a fluid, we want to make sure that we're always able to recycle it so we never fully fill up these tanks when we're making it from scratch. So right now, I think I've got it set to 120,000. These hold 25,000 apiece, so do the math. That's uh, however many, oops, that is uh, 20 tanks times 25,000, so 500,000. And it's only going to fill up to 120,000 before it shuts off. So, blue soda, check mark. And then just here, right up above it, we're making the orange soda, the chemical gel from cosmic water and petroleum gas. I actually might need to add a pump eventually, because this might not be fast enough. But for now, it'll definitely do. They're making it pretty fast. We don't have any kind of recycling for this, so we can just put it into this big series of tanks. And, whoop, a cargo rocket has... Has crashed! Where? On Nalvis? Oh, that actually happens all the time, although I'm not sure that I've ever showed it, and it's usually this. It's usually the Vulcanite. Crashes here, robots pick it up, and so as a result of occasionally rockets crashing, I've had to add a little bit of a just-in-case feature here. So every one of these landing pads has some requester chests that if we do get a crash, the robots, which we're going to have to leave a skeleton crew around, will have a place to deposit it. And I've got some storage containers peppered around. Here's some down here. Right here, just in case we get a crash. So the robots will deposit stuff there, and it'll eventually filter its way back into the landing pad where it was intended to go, and we may have some scrap left over or something, but for the most part, the robots should fix it when something goes wrong. Anyway, chemical gel, check mark. So, flying south from the two different sodas, the chemical gel and the cosmic water, we've got a big area for recycling our barrels into steel beams, and that's getting loaded onto a train. That will also end up back at the Nexus. Let's turn that back into automatic. It had indeed backed up. It's going to go up here to the top of the Nexus, kind of same deal as the rocket capsules and the rocket parts, and it'll get loaded onto this rocket which will eventually send the beams back down to Navis to get turned back into barrels to get filled back up to get brought back up into space. Then we've got a small area where we can recycle some scrap. We can also recycle some contaminated cosmic water. And we also purify some contaminated bio sludge as well. So, check, 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 check. Then beneath that is the bio sludge area, which we can't actually make yet because we haven't researched it because we don't have any vitamin yet. We'll have to come back to this. I just left a space for it for the future. And then here, we do have the recipe for nutrient gel, but we don't have that bio sludge. We also don't have methane gas. We're going to have to go to an asteroid belt for that eventually. So this is just sitting here ready to go once we need it. Then, down here, what are we making? We're making cotton candy plasma stream. We need the chemical gel, and for that, we're going to send a train just to take a short little trip up to the chemical gel area. There it goes. Picking up chemical gel should fill pretty quick. It's going to come right back and dump it into tanks, which will go straight into machines. And there it is. There's our chemical gel. And just like that, we got the cotton candy. Cotton candy is made from chemical gel and stone. Bet you didn't know that. Check mark. So beneath the normal orange cotton candy, we got the blue cotton candy. I got to click on it to see what it's called because I can't remember all these wacky names. Ion stream made from copper plate and plasma stream. Yep, we're making that. Okay, that's another check mark. Check. And then just below that, we got the pink cotton candy. Let's see what that is called. Particle stream. It's made from plasma stream and sand and material testing pack. Material testing pack coming from a rocket right there. The stone is coming from uh, the landing pad up there, which is making the default cotton candy, turning it into sand. All that goes whammo zamo in a particle collider, and we get some awesome, uh, very cool looking pink cotton candy. Plasma stream, particle stream, and check. So it appears that our intermediates area is totally finished. Everything seems to be working fine. Damn robots, thanks. That was a big help. Didn't have to do much, just sat back and watched. So next, it's time to start, I think, on the material science area. And you know what that means? That means we get to watch while the robots do the hard work. I think we'll put it right about here. 
We got some robo ports. We've got a power structure laid out. We're gonna sit back, watch robots do all the hard work. Robots, how about build some rails for us? And some platform. Okay, robots, machines. Dang, robots, nice work. Oh wow, that's a lot of open space. Is that all for landing pads? Well, I guess we better get to it. Robots! Dang, that's a lot of rockets. But wait, there's more. In addition to all these rockets, we gotta turn on a bunch of these trains. All right, I guess we'll start with thermofluid. Let's start here, turn on this guy. This is for recycling thermofluid. This guy's gonna go pick up some purpley thermofluid, I guess. And this guy's gonna pick up even lighter purple thermofluid. Nice. Okay, so this guy is a steel train for recycling our barrels, getting sent back to Nalvis. This is for compressed scrap, getting turned into landfill. This is for recycling some dirty soda water. This guy's gonna go pick up some blue cotton candy. This guy's gonna go pick up some blue soda. This guy's gonna pick up some magenta cotton candy. Nice. Okay, this guy's gonna go pick up some orange soda. And then we need some normal cotton candy. This guy's gonna recycle rocket parts. This guy's gonna recycle corrupted scrap or polluted scrap or whatever it's called. And this guy needs to go pick up some blank data cards. Choo-choo! Nice. Nice, nice. So all the primary ingredients have arrived via rocket, all the intermediate products have arrived via train. That is a whole lot of materials, and overall there are a lot of recipes here. 45 different recipes we have to satisfy with a wide variety of items. Each tier of science has four different types of data that it needs in order to produce the recipe. And most of them we don't even have the recipes yet because we're going to have to research that. But the reason we started with the material sciences is because we already know the recipes for all the different machines so we can put the whole thing down all at once. The ones we do already have are up here at the top. The tier one material science data. Let's check it out. Looks like we're making all of them. This is tensile strength data. Next to that is compressive strength data. Then just beneath it is hot thermodynamics data in your area. Then we've got some cold thermodynamics data. Check, 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 check. So we got some byproducts going out to the left, some contaminated scrap. And then up here we have some other byproducts going out to the right, ordinary scrap. The four different types of data are going onto belts. And they're getting loaded into this supercomputer to make some material catalog. Wow. Check. That goes on a belt. Oh, we have to set this recipe. We don't actually have that recipe. We're gonna have to do some research. Okay. So that catalog gets sent to the big machine here to make the science, but it also needs to get sent down here to make our very important yellow juice box. Let's see, are we making these? It seems like we are. They take uh, material catalog and some thermofluid and they spit out some blank data cards. And check. These blank data cards are only a byproduct of the first few tiers. So we just have a temporary chest here to stockpile those. Those juice boxes are needed for each of the tiers of science. So they go up on a belt to hit up all these machines. And then the leftover ones go down on a belt and get loaded onto a train because they're also required to make significant data. Oh, it looks like we have an error here. This guy should not be on here. There's somewhere where we need a filter inserter. So this is a temporary type of mistake because only the lower levels of this recipe have this byproduct of the blank data card. We're gonna rapidly upgrade to the more advanced versions, which won't have it, but we're not there yet. So we may as well fix it by telling it only to output the yellow juice box. Let's take these out of there. There was only two, so I guess that's fine. Hey, what do you know? Robots do make mistakes. They're not infallible. Wow. So anyway, we can't actually produce the science packs because we haven't researched them yet, and that means, in order to do that, we've got to rebuild the research area. I think we'll put it right over here. We have some roboports, we got the power structure laid out. It's time to watch the robots do the hard work. So 
So I don't think our steel rocket is full yet. We'll have to manually tell it to launch. Let's go ahead and do that. It's mostly full anyway. And then we're gonna have to tell the science rocket what landing pad to use because up until this point, it didn't actually have a landing pad. Vanilla science pad, that sounds right. And since we're ready to start making science, let's enable that inserter and let's put the science on the belts. We had some already up here from the previous layout, so we just added those to these stockpiles. There we go. Okay, so we should start making some science soon, but I think we've got to turn on some trains to get some intermediate products going. So this guy is recycling rocket parts. This guy needs to go get some chemical goop. And then we need to send for the train, which will deliver the material testing data. Turn that guy on. And tell him to just go ahead and go. It's not full, but it has enough for now. All right, awesome. We are now creating, once again, the rocket science pack. That's check mark. Check mark. So finally, we can start doing research again. We also had some leftover science packs from before the rebuild. So let's go ahead and dump those into the first few research labs. I also had some of these blue ones left over. Blah, plop. We had some of these purple ones left over too. So finally, we can do some new research. Let's research, first of all, material science pack one. Oh, that was quick. Okay, cool. So now we can set this recipe to material science pack one. And it should start getting made. Oh no, it's not going to get made yet because we have to start delivering the significant data. And to do that, let me get this flashing bleep blop off the screen. Thank you. We have to send our juice boxes off to be turned into significant data. So currently we just have the first tier of this recipe, which is going to turn our juice boxes into significant data. As we add different colored juice boxes, we'll get better versions of this recipe. But for now, we just have the basic one. It's spitting out a bunch of significant data and also a lot of blank data cards that are getting recycled and will get sent back over to the science area. And now that we are definitely creating the significant data, I think you know what that means. Oh, that's a check mark. So all of our yellow juice boxes have been turned into significant data. It's not nearly full, but it's good enough to get started. So let's go ahead and send this back to the science area. Nice. Okay, here we go. It reached the top of the belt. We should be making, finally, the material science pack one. And we are, in fact, it's there in the machine. A check mark. So the science pack is sitting in the machine and not going anywhere because we can't set any filters for inserters until we have that thing researched. So now we can do that. This is the train that's going to send the science packs over to the science area. We can set all of these so we can start getting loaded up. There it goes. All right. Nice. So while we're making some science packs, let's talk about our research lab layout. We've got a lot of science packs to cram into this thing. 27 different science packs, which we want on demand at any given time to fulfill all the different research we've got to do to complete the mod pack. Each belt can hold two different science packs, one on either side. So with a traditional layout, we can fit three belts on either side, and that means six science packs times two, 12 science packs. And that's not even halfway where we need to be. If we want to do something really awkward, we can do three belts on every side. That gives us 24 science packs. That's still not even enough. So to solve this problem, we are going to use a container as a buffer to transfer items from belts into the research labs. And that lets us fit extra belts. So now we've got 10 belts or 20 different science packs getting loaded into this research lab. These containers have a ton of space. We can limit how much space is available to prevent too many items stockpiling here. We do have an issue with clogging though, where the available space might be filled up with some of the science packs, not leaving room for other science packs. We could fix that with some circuit conditions on the container linked to the inserters, but there is actually a much better way to do this. We're going to use a cargo wagon. And it turns out that the cargo wagon, it really is the perfect container for this use. It's long and rectangular, so oriented this way, we can fit more belts going into it. And unlike this big 6x6 container, it's narrow enough that our belts can stretch underneath it. Wow. But wait, there's more. In addition, it has an amazing feature that literally no other container in the game has access to. We can set individual filters for every single inventory slot, which means we don't have to do any fiddly wire conditions at all. It's just that easy. So that's why our research lab area looks like this.
So we've now researched material science pack two, and we can do the next four types of experiments. We also have a better version of the juice box recipe and the second material catalog. So here I've got a cargo wagon not connected to any belt so that we can make modifications to our filter system and then copy paste it into the existing ones so we don't end up with the wrong science pack temporarily filling that empty spot. So back at our material science area, we can update some recipes. We now have the tier two of the juice box recipe. We still need the blank data cards as a reagent. So they're gonna keep spitting out into here, but we can just recycle those by adding them back to the back of the line. Then up here, we've gotta add some recipes we just got access to. We have four new science experiments we can do. This one is corrosion resistance data. I'll just use the pictures to figure out which ones to do. This is a triangle, it's the rigidity data. Then down here, we've got that little spark circle thing. That is the pressure containment data. And then over here, which one is this? This is that, uh, whatever that shape is, impact shielding data. We also researched a new material we can craft. That's going to be the heavy girder. That's going to be right there. That's made from iridium plates. And we're going to need that to craft the tier two material science pack. And it also goes on a belt and heads down this way. Some of these recipes have a chance to occasionally spit out one of the ingredients. So in those instances, we use a two by two chest with filter inserters that can both insert and spit back out those ingredients. And then we wire an inserter from the belt to the chest to control how often we put fresh new items into that container. So right now I've got it set to only add fresh new iridium plates to this container when there's less than 10 in that container. So we'll always have space to recycle those plates and the recycled plates will take precedent over the new plates. And now that we're making the heavy girders, we can do the same thing here, but we've got to set the filters. Now that we're able to do that, you can't set filters until you have the thing researched. So we can do those. And then looks like there's another instance down here. Boop, boop, boop. Lovely. And we also have to set the filter inserters for the item to exit the machine. So let's do that. That's going to be this little broken cigarette vial pouring, whatever. And then we got to set the triangle. Whoops. Then we have to set the triangle here. So that guy can exit the machine. Then we've got the little sparky circle inside the box. And we've got whatever that downwards arrow thing is. Boom. So it looks like we are successfully creating all four experiments for the tier two material science pack. A check, 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 check. And now we can set the recipe for the second material catalog. Looks like we're successfully creating that too. Check mark. The second material catalog is needed down here to craft our new version of our juice box. And another thing that happened as we got access to a new recipe, we need a different version of thermofluid. We need super cooled thermofluid now. So we're going to swap these pipes. This pipe doesn't need to go there anymore, so let's modify this. It does need to keep going further up the chain. Let's just make sure we don't screw up our pipe system. Let's do this and that and that, boom. And now we are successfully making our new, more efficient version of our yellow juice box. Tier two juice box check mark. So we're making those juice boxes. We just got a new supply of significant data. So we're gonna continue making the tier one material science pack, which will also be needed for the tier two science pack. And it looks like, do we have some? Yes, we do. Material science pack two. And that's a check mark. So with our newly acquired material science packs one and two, we've researched now heavy bearing, material catalog three, and material science pack three, so we can set some recipes and set some filters on inserters. This guy right here is the heavy bearing. Let's set that right now. And it looks like we've got to rotate the machine. Okay, there it goes. Heavy bearing on the belt and also about to get inserted into this machine, which is going to make material science pack three. This computer right here is going to make the energy catalog three. So let's do that. We'll have to make the four new types of data. And then right down here, we have, oh, okay. We're jumping all around. We can upgrade this to the third version of the yellow juice box. And you can see it no longer has the blank data card as a byproduct once you get to tier three. So we'll set that. 
We'll start making that in a minute, and we can decommission this little buffer chest right here. We can run down here, and we can dump it into the back of the train and not worry about it anymore. So flying up here, we've got some new experiments, and we've got to set some filters. So the first science pack is these machines here. Those are the experiments. The second material science pack is these four machines. Third science pack is going to be these four machines right here. We're also making some byproducts. We need some dynamite. We need to make some ammo, which is just a bunch of iron getting processed. So we're going to go by the different symbols. Again, it's got the, uh, the three prongs, whatever. There it is. That's the ballistic shielding data. And we need to set the inserter as well. Three prongs, ballistic shielding data. And then this guy is uh, that circle, whatever. Circle, whatever. And the machine needs... Friction data. Okay, friction data. Shield. This guy right here is a yellow shield. We'll set the inserter to output the yellow shield data. And that is uh, explosive shielding data. It needs explosives, which we're making right next to it. Pretty cool. This one is the green shield data. This probably uh, got to do with radiation, right? Because there's uranium-238 right there. What's the what's symbol again? Green shield. Right. Green shield... Right there for the inserter, and right here for the machine. Radiation shielding data. Okay, good. Now we also have to set some inserters. This guy has a condition, so I know it needs heavy girder. So we can set the inserter to allow heavy girders. There we go. And then up here, same thing. Boom, boom, boom. And this guy right here needs these guys, the heavy bearing. We just researched that, so now we can set the filter on the inserter. So we're outputting the four different types of data, as well as the different byproducts. Looks like we have some scrap here. Any items that get recycled go into these 2x2 two two containers. And let's jump over here. Looks like, looks like we're making four new types of data. Check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark. And in this supercomputer, it looks like we are also making our comprehensive, aka tier three material catalog. That's a check mark. That's going down here to make our tier three juice box. Juice box tier three check mark. And then in order to make our tier three material science pack, we'll need to send away our juice boxes to get some more significant data. The one real handicap with doing the science this way one color at a time is that the one recipe we're not upgrading is this one, which is getting us our significant data. This recipe will get much more efficient as we add different colored juice boxes. So until we do that, it's going to be a little bit slow. But as far as unlocking the different things we need to unlock, it'll get the job done. So here comes our significant data down the belt. In order to make a science pack of material type Mark III, we need Mark II, and oh, looks like we just made some. Material science pack three check mark. We need Mark I to make Mark II, and then Mark II to make Mark III. So we've got these long-handed inserters that reach in between each different tier. And now we're making the tier three, so we can set the filter for the inserter to load it onto a new train. It's gonna take quite a lot of material science pack three to get to material science pack for 500 just to research the science pack itself so while we're waiting let's do some recycling so here we're recycling the contaminated scrap it's going to go into these machines which is going to convert it to normal scrap contaminated cosmic water contaminated bio sludge and a very small percent chance for uranium ore contaminated bio sludge and contaminated cosmic water also get cleaned up and they get recycled back into their non-contaminated parts then that scrap's getting compressed into landfill, and eventually the landfill ends up way up here at the Oubliette, where we forget about it. While we're at it, we can also do some recycling of these junk data cards. In the long run, we will be recycling a ton of these things, so they go through an 8x8 balancer and down through all these machines. This is another recipe we'll be upgrading over time, but for now we're stuck with the base version of it. We have a 70% chance to get a blank data card back and a 30% chance to get a broken data card. That's a check mark. Blank data cards go through the balancer back onto a train to go out to the different science areas to make data, which gets turned into science packs. And the broken data cards get converted into scrap, which gets compressed into landfill, which gets sent up north all the way to the Oubliette, 
where we forget about it. And check mark. While we were doing that, the base made some science packs. Let's do some science. So now we have our final set of material science recipes. We can tell some machines what to do. This guy needs to make some heavy composite. This guy is going to make our material science pack 4, which also requires that heavy composite. Over here, we're going to make our fourth version of material catalog, the extended material catalog, which needs four new types of data. And then down here, we can upgrade to our fourth and final version of the juice box. Oh, we don't have it yet. Never mind. I guess we're stuck on juice box number three for a while. And then we can also set up our last four science experiments. So this guy going by the symbols is going to be a red shield laser beam thing. Laser shield data. We can also set up the inserter for the output. There we go. This guy is going to be lightning bolt shield. Okay, set up the inserter. Electrical shielding data. All right, and then down here we've got uh, blue laser beam shield thing, which is particle beam shielding data. Set up the inserter. Particle beam shielding data. And then over here we've got... Um, flower spiral thingy whatever whatever that is let's see that is experimental alloy data we've also got to set up a few more machines over here we need to start creating some space platform plating which is like concrete but for space let's run faster and now we can actually start making this we can finish our base up here which up to this point i've been using conveyor belts where i intend to put the space plating Woo! trippy man so anyway, it looks like we're successfully making the four final material science data types. Check a check a check check mark. And with those guys plus some thermo fluid, we're making our final material catalog and a check mark. Unfortunately, we're stuck on juice box three for a while because we can't do juice box four without a higher version of supercomputer, which we can't make just yet. Ooh, no check mark. <laughs> And with a fresh batch of significant data, we're now crafting material science pack four. And finally, checkmark! So, with all that done, with all this up and running, with material science packs 1, 2, 3, and 4 getting produced, we now have access to some cool new stuff. We can now research Thruster Suit 2, Iridium Delivery Cannon Capsule, Railgun, Adaptive Armor 4, Inserter Capacity Bonus 6, Speed Module 5, Personal Roboport Mark 2, that's gonna be a good one. Worker Robot Cargo Size 2, also a good one. Breaking Force 6, a little bit more inventory space, and a few other odds and ends. But that, my friends, will be a story for another time. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.